The rust-colored surface of Mars bears witness to a dynamic geological history, evident in features like boulder tracks, sinuous trails carved into the Martian soil as rocks tumbled downslope. These tracks are not passive indicators. They offer quantifiable data about the planet's past climate and tectonic forces. Geologists utilize principles of friction, gravity, and material properties to reconstruct boulder movement across the Martian landscape. A single track exceeding 10 kilometers in length suggests a force exceeding 5,000 newtons was required for its formation. This magnitude aligns with a seismic tremor of at least magnitude 3.5, estimated based on comparative analysis of similar terrestrial events like the 2011 Tohoku earthquake, which had an estimated peak ground acceleration of 4.7 meters per second squared. This poses a paradox. Mars's thin atmosphere, approximately 0.6%, the density of Earth's, should result in significantly less seismic activity due to fewer energy transfers through the lithosphere. This discrepancy suggests potential internal heat sources or alternative mechanisms for triggering seismic events on Mars. The formation of boulder tracks is intricately linked to the erosive power of wind and water processes amplified by Mars's thin atmosphere. This low atmospheric pressure allows for heightened solar radiation and temperature fluctuations averaging minus 63 degrees Celsius with a diurnal range of up to 50 degrees Celsius. While intermittent liquid water flows exist in certain regions, primarily concentrated around equatorial canyons and confirmed by spectroscopic analysis from orbiters like the Mars Express orbiter, their occurrence is ephemeral due to the planet's low atmospheric pressure, a vapor pressure less than six millibars. The presence of hydrated minerals within some tracks, such as clays and sulfates, 
challenges the current understanding of Mars's arid climate and suggests potential environments capable of supporting ancient microbial life. This presents a scientific dilemma, reconciling the observed geological features with the current Martian environment and considering the possibility of ancient habitable niches on Mars. The presence of polymineralic coatings on some boulders suggests repeated exposure to both aqueous solutions and freeze-thaw cycles, posing a challenge to current models of water activity on Mars. This could indicate that past liquid water reservoirs were more extensive or persistent than previously thought. The study of boulder tracks intersects with geomorphology, revealing crucial data about prevailing wind patterns inferred through streamlined sand dunes and water flow regimes. Analyzing their shape, size, and distribution allows scientists to reconstruct past environmental conditions. For example, a track exhibiting multiple branching paths could indicate the presence of a subsurface flow channel, while the orientation of tracks can reveal prevailing wind direction. Analyzing the composition of boulder tracks through remote sensing spectroscopy from orbiters like the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and sample analysis by rovers such as Perseverance can provide insights into the mineralogical content of the original rock formations from which the boulders originated. Further investigation into these tracks could shed light on the thermal history of Mars, as variations in track morphology may indicate different erosional processes driven by temperature fluctuations. Combining this data with geophysical measurements from missions like InSight will help refine our understanding of Mars' internal structure and its influence on surface features.